Also breaking at this hour, an apartment fire that forced hundreds to evacuate. Little Rock firefighters responded to the Highland Midtown Apartments on University this afternoon. Our Katrin Asaf joins us live with more on what happened and if there were any injuries. Katrin, what have you found out? Well, Kevin, we can say right now that police, or excuse me, not police, fire department officials are saying that they don't believe that anyone was injured, but you can still see the damage. It's right here. You can see that window that is blown out, all of that charred smoke that's on the upper portion of that. Now, this is uh, the Highland Midtown Apartments just north of the Park Plaza Mall. People here say that they're still pretty shaken up about everything, but they're just thankful that it wasn't worse. Probably been his own fire. Smoke flooding from a shattered window. Neighbors huddled in the parking lot. Images captured by a Highland Midtown resident as his building threatens to burn. You can see the damage right there. A uh, possible explosion of windows across the street at the Highland Midtown. That was the call that came into LRFD. A shopper across the street spotting the flames and smoke, but inside the building. I was in bed still and just enjoying a nice day. Grant was spending his President's Day at home until the fire alarm sprang to life and a text told him to get out. And they said, there's a fire, evacuate now. He rushed to the stairwell, met by hundreds of residents all looking to escape. By the time he made it downstairs, he could see the damage. A lot of smoke billowing out. There were flames somewhat coming out of the window. And the fire department was already there. Our guys got it contained to a small area, got it extinguished uh, rapidly, and so we're, we're in good shape. It was that quick response that kept the flames contained. Only one unit burned and a few others with smoke damage. For something that could have been worse, Grant is thankful and sees this as an ironic goodbye to his home of 19 months. My move out day is Saturday, so this was a nice little farewell to me. Now, Grant tells me that he actually thinks that the unit that was damaged may have been the model unit used to show to people who are considering leasing. He's not 100% sure, but he thinks that that is the unit that did catch fire here. Now, in terms of LRFD, they say that they're still investigating and trying to figure out exactly what caused this fire to begin with. All those residents who evacuated, though, are back home safe and sound. Reporting in Midtown, Katrin Asaf, Kevin.